First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. For real. Mm. Nah, not for real, guys. What's up? It's on Absolute. Welcome to my channel. Guys, just wanted to um, put it out there. If you are not a supporter of Justice for George Floyd, click out, unsubscribe, bye-bye. Don't even comment. Don't do nothing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just click out. Don't, I don't want you here. Okay? I love, I love you as a human being, but we don't need that negativity here, so bye bye okay? I had this long, heartfelt message last night when I first recorded this video, and I was crying, and I was like, you know what? This is not that kind of channel. My girls come here to watch me and to laugh, so we're going to keep that same energy, and... I feel a lot better today. I got it out in my little last video that will never see the light of day. A lot of crazy things happening in the world, but police brutality has been happening. I've witnessed it. It's real, happens every day. Change is coming slowly but surely. It will happen. And I hope that we see justice in this case among many other men and women that have lost their lives to police brutality. Mostly black men. It's the numbers, guys. The numbers don't lie. Okay, guys. Anyways, so we'll stop talking about that. I'm a supporter of Black Lives Matter. I want to let you guys know. I... But that's all I'm going to say. I want you guys... I want you guys to laugh today i want you to be happy watching this i want you to be take a break from everything that you've been watching and just chill y'all be calling me crazy in the comments i'm like um i i think this is coming from a place of love i don't know but just when the camera turns on i act so extra yeah my friends are like anna you're just extra <laughs> Okay, I am a little extra too. Okay, but anyways, guys, today is a Q&A. I know that you that if you're here, clicked into this video, it is because you love me because it's not about perfume. There's a little perfume sprinkled in here throughout with the questions that I received, but mostly it's just about me and I wanna give back to you. Guys, like the ultimate goal of my channel, I don't know what it is yet. I just really wanted to talk about perfume and have a reason to buy more perfume. <laughs> That's really what this channel was for, but... I kind of just, I want to grow, a, I want to grow a faithful audience and I want to give back to you guys and entertain you mostly. Yeah. Okay. Um, today, the first place winner is going to get $50. I will Venmo you $50. If you don't have that, I can cash up. We'll figure it out. I'll get it to you. And then two runner ups get $25 each. Spend it on perfume. Spend it on what the hell ever you want to. Spend it on some bills. We all got stuff going on. Do what you got to do. Okay. But um, I know that only the people that really love me are watching this. So I wanted to make, I wanted to just get, give back to y'all because you guys comment, you guys like, you guys are subscribing. You guys are so freaking nice. There are some trolls that have been hurting my feelings a little bit, a little bit. But most of all, majority, everybody is so great. And what was I going to say? Yeah, so this is just giving back to you. Um, keep watching. In this video, somewhere in the end, I will give you the details of what you need to do to enter the giveaway. This is going to be a little bit of a long video. I'm talking about myself, so <laughs> I love to talk about myself. Okay, so it's going to be a little long, but work for that 50 bucks, man. Work for it. Thank you. Guys, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is all about me. This is all about me. It's all about me. Mm, it's all about do, do, do. I don't know the whole song. I forgot it. Huh. Anyways, okay. First question. Yeah. I just have a list of them here. I'm going to be looking down and around to read the question. So if you get annoyed, sorry. Sorry, not sorry, because that's how I got to read it. Guys. You sound so New York, like Long Island, New York, but I'm from California. <laughs> I'm a Cali girl, West Coast, baby. Yeah, no, I, I don't know if, how I sound like that. I'm not from there. Um, what's your favorite movie of all time? 
the labyrinth, the labyrinth, the one with David Bowie and Jennifer McConnelly. Is it McConnelly? McConaughey? No, something. Anyways, guys, yeah, that movie. I can literally I can recite the whole movie. Okay, I'm that annoying person that will watch the same movie over and over and over again and recite each and every line over and over and over again, even if it was your first time watching it. Okay, next. Oh, and also about that movie. If I was Sarah, I would not have fought my way to the castle. I would have, I would have given it up to David Bowie first night. <laughs> True story. Okay, um, what's your favorite alcoholic beverage? Cabernet, red wine. Yup, it's my favorite. I um, get my wine from Fresh Farms, is it? I'm not sure. It's like this organic, clean wine place that delivers to your house. Yeah, I get it from there. I like wine. Yeah, I don't drink that much anymore, but Cabernet, that's my favorite. Um, and guys, a lot of perfume women and men are asking me these questions because I have a lot of them on Instagram and a lot of these I got from Instagram, not just the comments. So I will link all their information below. So if you want to support the fragrance community or you need more fragrance content, search them up, find them, see if you like them, hit the little subscribe button, tell them Anna sent you. Yeah, tell them you like me better too. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Kinda. Okay, um, have you ever been stingy with your perfumes? Haha. -ha. I tend to not want to waste mine and hate it. Am I stingy with my perfumes as in I won't spray a lot because I want to save it? No, I spray a lot if I want to smell bomb, period. Um, but I am stingy with like sharing. I, I freely share ones I like, but if I love it and especially if it was expensive, I feel hesitant to let my sister spray it. Yeah, so yes and no. I can hear my son's t little TV thing going on in the background. Hopefully you can't hear it. Hold on, I'm just gonna tell him to turn it down. about that um let's see next um do you have a crush on any fragrance guy of course she would ask that question it's mj hmm i think he's married <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say i think he's i think he has a girl oh girl i don't know that's all i'm gonna say um can your boyfriend step aside and give me a chance he won't leave me I've tried to get rid of him. He's he's with me for life, so no. Um, can you do a boy my boyfriend rates my perfumes? We fans need this video. I love you, girl, MJ. She so guys, yes, all their information will be linked below. Um, no, I will never do a my boyfriend rates my perfumes because I don't care what he thinks. And second of all, his face will never see the light of day on any of my social medias. Okay, one know why? Because he doesn't post me on his. None of them. This beautiful face, he doesn't post on any of his social medias. Bro, what does that tell you? He says, here's his excuse. I know I'm sounding real petty and I'm sounding like my man doesn't love me. He has this theory that if someone was on the hunt for him and they saw me in his social media, they would know that I am important to him and they would come after me. Is that just a, like a slick A, a word? A slick A word. Um, reason? Excuse? I don't know. But he is paranoid. He's in the military. So I think that has something to do with it. But he's not that important. He doesn't do anything like top secret. So... Whatever, I'm letting him make his own decisions and that's just fine. So now I can play single and not post him in any of my social media. <laughs> yeah, anyways, next. Um, what would you say is the fragrance that started it all? The one that led you to collect? Poison Girl? Yeah. Um, I used that one all up and then 
I wanted to like, I was like, let's see what else is in the world. Let's see what other perfumes there are. And then I just got this big butt collection. Yeah. But that is the one. And um, I was just always shopping for my mother, my boyfriend's mom for perfumes and just like testing them all out and like wanting the perfect one. I just started accumulating all these fragrances and yeah. <laughs> so poison girl, EDP. Um, I need to add that one back into my collection. I've been trying to like get on the new new, but yeah. Okay. If um, you could trade your dimples for any fragrance. What would it be? I wouldn't trade them for shiz. They are so cute. Wouldn't trade them. Eyebrows. Do you get them microbladed or just them good jeans? Guys, I actually did get my eyebrows microbladed once. But they they are not why my eyebrows look like this. She I won't say her name, the lady who microbladed my eyebrows, shaved mine down when I kind of wanted her to just add to my natural brow so I would never have to pluck again in my life. She shaved off, basically, see how this kind of goes down and dips? She made that straight. Like, so all of this right here, like, is really gone with the microblading. But my hair, some of my hair grows underneath it. So I have gotten them microbladed, but I still pencil them in. And a lot of people ask before, so I'm just going to say what I do. This is my little eyebrow routine. I make a line right there, and then I just brush it up. That's all. Sometimes I'll fill in right here because those get a little sparse, but that's it. Yeah. So kind of good jeans. Yes, I've gotten the microbladed. Will I do it again? No. And they're already like, basically, I feel like they're not even there anymore. And I just got them done. I did get them wet in the period you weren't supposed to get them wet. So that could also have added to the not great longevity on them. But yeah, anyways, yeah, that's the answer to that question. Um, Guys, if you really want to know more about me or want me to answer more questions about this, just leave a comment. Guys, I love talking to you in the comments. I appreciate them. They're great. You're the bomb. Um, why did you move to Alaska? I moved, did I answer this question too? No. I moved to Alaska because my, my whole family left me in California. And I had my kid and I missed my mommy. So I moved here. Yeah, that's why. Um, I, a lot of my family has lived in Alaska since the early 90s. Um, there's actually a, a kind of big Tongan and community. It's a, there's a huge small community, but mostly there's a little Tongan community here. And yeah, that's why we're here. <gasps> Cause my family's here. Um, and also Alaska pays you PFD every year. <laughs> Another reason why I'm here. Okay, anyways, next question. Were you born and raised in Alaska? No, I was not. I was born in Sacramento, California. Yeah. Um, I've lived everywhere on the West Coast, including Hawaii. Um, yeah, I'm not from here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Do you, how do you feel about brute aftershave? It's still my fave. What's up, Papi Chino? I will link his info down below. That's my little brother. He's on my IG too. He has his music thing going on, so show support. Um, but I don't know, Cap. I'm sure if you wear it, it smells great because you always smell good. Um, why you always do your lips like that? This fool. I'm, what do you mean? Like one of those? Because questions like that is annoying. What type of toothpaste do you use? I use Crest Optic White. It's a red tube. Um, what's on your wish list? I really want to get um, Lalique's Amethyst because Demi Rawlings just said it's like a dupe for Meliora and I have Meliora, which I love. 
So I need to get my hands on it to find out if that is a good recommendation for y'all. But if Demi said it, it's prob probably it's, she knows more than me, so. Okay. Caitlin Bogus, Bogus Boobis. Sorry, girl. If I say your guys' names wrong, please excuse that. I'm not a genius. Anyways, um, question is how did you end up in Alaska? Do you like it? The fact that it never gets dark there always baffles me. Um, so what's that like? Ha -ha. It's like four o'clock in the morning and there's still little kids outside playing. It's like camping and everyone is up forever and doing crazy things. It's like outdoor sports all the time. It's beautiful in the summer. It is depressing in the winter. All winter, I just wake up in the blankets like around my head laying there like why do i live here why do i live here i don't want to be here i don't want to get up yeah because there's no sun sun brings you happiness and there's none of that so i don't know why i live here <laughs> but it's beautiful and um it is nice mm. next let me try to lift this up try not to look down Okay, question. This is a good one for you fragrance addicts. Which online fragrance stores do you make your purchases from? Purchases from? Kindly list all of them. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Grace. You the bomb. Um, guys, so I mostly use Fragrance Net and Fragrance X. Fragrance X has better um, service, I believe. Um, and lately they've been cheaper than fragrance net which has been filling my heart with joy <laughs> yeah so i use fragrance x or fragrance net um also keep in mind that perfume.com is fragrance x with just a different logo and then um fragrance.com is fragrance net with a different logo and but their prices are different on each one so this is what i do when i when i know i want a perfume i will go to each four sites and see what is the lowest and that's where i will get that fragrance from yeah so that's how i do that um just to keep just to like let it out in the open because someone did ask me um i use amazon links in my description i get like 3% off whatever purchase you make from the link. But I don't use Amazon because Amazon doesn't ship perfume to Alaska. It sucks. Next. My question is, where did your love of perfume come from? And this is from Mighty Strong. What's up, Mighty Strong? You are a great, you always comment and I love you for that. Thank you. Um, her question is, where did your love of perfume come from? And are you a lover of perfume or a collector? being that it is very in a very expensive addiction, especially for a collector, yes. It is expensive. I've been tripping lately as well. Um, I would say I'm a collector because I have so many. The numbers don't lie. <laughs> the numbers don't lie, guys. I got a lot, so I would say I'm a collector, but I also don't wanna have any in my collection that I absolutely don't love. So I do want to, I don't want to go over 200 that sounds like a lot but people some people have more so i don't want to go over 200 i want to like sell ones i won't i i don't use or don't appreciate i do like want just want to like kind of have it like a rotating to where those 200 that i have i love and i don't need any more but that's probably never <laughs> i don't know yeah so i would say i'm a collector but my love of perfumes just came from wanting to smell bomb it all started with victoria's secret teas from years and years ago when I was just a little kid. Not a little kid, like graduated high school. But tees and Beyonce heat, yeah. That's what I was used to wear as a kid. As a kid. As a young adult. Yeah, so hopefully they answer the question. Next. Um, Elmery. Oh, I hope I said that right, babe. Um, well, as being an astrology lover also, tell us your Venus and Mars sign. I love astrology, guys. I'm more into Vedic astrology. If y'all do not know what Vedic astrology is, you need to look into it because that stuff is so specific. It will literally tell you your whole life. 
really. It, tell, it just tells you what your whole life mission is. And it will tell you what periods of your life certain things happen. People, uh, a good Vedic astrology person can tell you what time period your parents are going to die. You probably don't want to know, but it's true. They can. Yeah, it gets really intense. But for but I love that stuff. And I'm not going to talk about that because I know your question is asking about Western astrology. My Venus and Mars sign are both in Leo. Yes, I am dramatic in love. I love the first stages of love and that's how I want my relationship to always be. I want you to be, always be all about me, bothering me, can't get enough of me. Dramatic, dramatic love story. That is me. I love gifts, I love giving gifts. I love spoiling, I wanna be spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's how I am when I am in love. So Venus and Mars sign, that's mostly what those have to do with. Okay guys, Um, yeah, we can take a quick break. I'm gonna tell you how to enter that giveaway. Thank you for watching to this point. Um, what all you have to do is screen record any one of my videos and share it on your story on Instagram. Mm, bonus points if you share it on your, um, a, like an actual post and tag me in it. And if you have, if your page is on private, DM me and let me know that you did it. Just say done. Hope, you know, hope I win. Bloody, bloody. Make sure you're following me. All that. Make sure you're a subscriber. Whatever. Okay, guys, that's all you have to do. And also comment your scent of the day below. Okay, three winners. First place, 50 bucks. Two runner-ups, $25 each. Okay, okay, cool. Buy perfume, pay some bills. I don't know what you're gonna pay with $25. That's like whatever i don't i don't know do what you want to do with it extra money you never had before right okay guys the next question from rose and jones guys if you don't know who rose and jones is she is a fragrance expert that i love to watch i will link her information down below go to her channel she's great um she says, question for your next Q&A. If you were a fragrance, which one would you be? Parenthetical, yes. It is the most annoying question you'll get. And parenthetical, which fragrance is most like your character? The notes, the strength, the style, etc. This was easy. This was easy. This was easy. Armani Code Cashmere is me in a bottle strong but sweet yummy a little and bad okay the leather and suede notes make this real bad the almond make this addictive and seductive and a little yummy and the orange blossom makes it very sweet but I feel like you have to be really confident to wear this perfume. Mm, it's sexy, it's good. This is me, this is me, yeah. And it lasts forever. <laughs> Guys, anyways, um, next. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Oh, Sonia Hernandez. What's up, girl? Um, my question is, if you collect anything other than perfumes. I collect crystals, crystals and stones. Yeah. Um, other than like sentimental things, I collect birthday cards, pictures, journals. Yeah, so crystals. Um, answered all of those. Oh, and I also get asked this a lot. So, um, a lot of people, a lot of you ladies ask, what is my skincare routine? You guys, guys, stop giving me compliments on my skin. Every time I get a compliment from one of y'all, four pimples pop up in its place. It's like, oh yeah, you think you have beautiful skin? Well, don't get too um, confident, girl, because we about to mess it up. Yeah, so I'm just gonna share it. Guys, I, I kind of already have always had good skin. 
So don't think buying any of these things is gonna help you, but I'll still link them down in the description if you want to. Clarisonic, I use that to wash my face. I use Honest Shampoo and Body Wash. It's for kids. I use that on my face and my scalp and actually everywhere. Um, and when I get out of the shower, I use this under my eyes, Drunk Elephant. I just recently got this about three months ago because I'm getting old, y'all. I'm getting old. So that's why I got this. So I know, do I know if it works? I don't know. It has copper peptides in it, which is why I got it because I heard that helps your hair grow. So I've been putting them like underneath my eyes and all up on my eyebrows, hoping that they'll grow in. Monstrous. Yeah, so I use that on my eyes. And then I use Clinique too. This little toner thing on my face right after I get out of the shower. And then I'll spray organic rose water facial mist. And I actually use this throughout the day, not just after I get out the shower. So I keep one of these in my purse. I have one in my um, bathroom and one in my purse. And I'll just spray my face all day. Because I, like I like my skin. I like that right out of the shower look. And this like does that. Let me see. I'm running out. Did it make a difference? I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like it makes a difference. <laughs> yeah, so then that. And um, and then I go in with a thick layer of Egyptian magic. Guys, this shiz is empty. Sorry, the lighting's not good. But yeah, and then Egyptian magic. I love, love, love this stuff. I've been using this for years. Okay, that was my skincare routine. You guys ask that a lot. Um... Yeah, that's it, I think. Yeah, that was all the questions, cool. Thanks guys for um, everyone who submitted their questions. Um, thank you guys for supporting and liking and commenting. I really appreciate you guys. I promise next week I'm gonna come with a good perfume video, okay? Um, I had, I, I plan to do 10 for life this week, but with all of um, the, George, the George Floyd stuff, I felt really bogged down and like I said earlier, my last video, I was like in tears. So um, next week, the perfume content will keep on coming and the week after that and the week after that. So guys, I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram. You are appreciated. Bye guys.